Okay, so everything we're talking about boils down to making money, and I heard him saying, we'll flip it, flip it, what to flip it, it's so money. <laughs> so um, if you think the art of animation is not such a huge deal, then you need to think again, just after seeing this compilation of top five grossing all-time worldwide animated box office movies. Have a look. Animation is a huge deal with a total value of global animation industry at 259 billion US dollars in 2018 and a projection to reach 270 billion US dollars by 2020. Based on the number statistics, here are the top five grossing all time worldwide animated box office movies. At number five is Toy Story 4, grossing over $1 billion. Everyone, Bonnie made a friend in class. What a oh, story. she's already making friends. No, no, she literally made a new friend. Toy Story 3 follows closely at number four. Guys, we all knew this day was coming. We're getting thrown away. No, no one's getting thrown away. We ain't ever getting played with. We've got Minions at number three. Banana. Uh, start. Banana. Incredibles 2 holds down the number two sport. Did you wash your hands with soap? Did you dry them? And at number one, Frozen, a 2013 fantasy and comedy music animated film, grossed 1,272,000,000. 467,910 dollars. I can't feel my legs! I can't feel my legs! <coughs> okay, so that's some money, money, money in billions. So I'll just ask, how much are we worth right now in Nigeria? Freddy? Well, I think um, what I know is the global industry is worth about 270 billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And um, in Africa, we just have about 4% play. Mm. Wow. So it's not very significant, okay. really. Um, the U.S. has about 40%, but the animation market is basically, there's the Asian side, the Asian block, we have quite a bit of it, and in the U.S. In Africa, you have South Africa, Egypt, and I think Kea uh, featured a bit. We are working on our first fe 2D feature film. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. Our film is costing us about $1.2 million. But if you go to South Africa, you will produce that thing for nothing less than $50 million. Mm -hmm. So in terms of cost comparison, we're way cheaper, right? Why and are we way cheaper? Um, I think, again, it's a formative industry. Okay. South Africa is an advanced economy, though a smaller economy than we are, right? And um, in, in, a, in a way, we, are, we have the advantage where you can find one person who can do lighting, mm -hmm. do concept art. In places like that, they basically use the, the, the Hollywood model. You're specialized. If you're lighting, you're lighting. If you're a concept artist, yeah. you're mm -hmm. So you have to basically have that. But the advantage we have is that everyone is sort of building something. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of like just knocking it out. Mm -hmm. um, the only challenge that I know we've had with money is you need investors who have patient capital. Mm -hmm. Animation is not like Nollywood. Nollywood, you can produce a movie in three weeks mm -hmm. and have your money in six months. Animation, it will take you two years to produce a movie and make your money back in a period of three, four years. But trust me, it is worth the wait mm -hmm. because the scale is huge and it's mm -hmm. high. Mm -hmm. from all the numbers and indices we have seen. But local investors are not very prone to investing. So a lot of the foreigners are coming. My pain mm -hmm. and, and anger sometimes is we are sitting on an opportunity that we may lose. Because if we lose our IPs and lose our opportunities to these mm -hmm. foreign guys, yeah. we've only been recol recolonized. So yeah. what's the percentage of return on investment? Because you said it's the going percentage. to take like two years. But yeah, for, for it's almost as high as 120%. Right. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, Trigger Fish, their first film, Adventures of Zambezi, released in 2013, did about $36 million. Okay. Right. About $36 million. And that's, how, that's an African studio. So in a sense, they've broken that. Now, we must also keep in mind, our local cinemas are growing. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. They are growing and they are doubling. And there's a growing cinema culture. Okay. So if you have a story that will pop, you have the numbers. Mm -hmm. Right. So I do think that locally our market can deliver something. You can even break even on a local cinema mm -hmm. if your marketing is done right. I mean, if you put um, movies like Wedding Party, they've proven it. Mm -hmm. Have your P&A, your publicity and advertising yeah, costs. Yeah, that right. was where I'm going to and come to. And I was going to take it to you, but you said it initially. You were mentioning storytelling, mm -hmm. everything needed to produce it, but you or to make the money, but you didn't mention PR or promotions. <laughs> and I think that's one of the issues I've had with um, even people in Nollywood, because mm -hmm. they tell you, we have a movie out there, nobody's seen it. I ask them, how did right. you push it, right? Yeah, yeah. We sit here in Nigeria and hear about a movie coming out um, of Hollywood in the next two weeks. It's not, it's not magic. They yeah. worked on it for you to get here. Yeah. So you have something coming out very soon. Yeah. What is the plan in place for this to get yeah, the PL, attention in it? Yeah, yeah um, we're, we're working on that and uh, we've been able to create 
a lot of um, marketing strategy on using the new media as an advantage, mm -hmm. you know, and also partnership. Okay. Being able to partner because sometimes it's not all about monetary, you know, but we're able to take advantage of values, you know, that, um, okay, we have some partners in the U.S. that, oh, they love the idea, they love the storyline, fine, they want to partner with, with the BW Studios to create how we can push this to the global scale. Okay. The original plan was um, like a series, a YouTube series and all that. And the story is amazing, basically, the storyline. And um, we were putting our best to get as much as um, a 90% of a normal Hollywood or a Disney firm, so mm -hmm. um, animated film. So we're looking at, OK, why don't we push this to the world, basically, not just, OK? So we're doing um, um, different languages. We're okay. not, do, not just English. We're doing English. We're doing Pidgin. We're doing um, Yoruba, Igbo, and Swahili. We're doing okay. French as well. Mm. So as, as well, we can break into other African countries, mm. you know? So that's the whole idea. And the marketing strategy is coming out real well, real good. And um, we're just taking advantage of the, the new concept. So we have some really amazing surprises. Yeah. Okay. Trying to change you, the game. The revenue angle. How is it working out for your angle? So um, he has spoken about, I want to come from a different angle now. He has spoken about um, feature film, mm -hmm. making money from feature film. He has spoken from his own intellectual property. I want to speak from the angle of service, okay. animation service. Mm -hmm. I believe in service. Like the principle of service works in leadership, mm -hmm. in life generally. Mm -hmm. I believe that until you serve, you don't understand what it means to be a lead, a leader. You get so coming from the angle of service, I want to model my business after the way the Indians did it. Mm. And let me explain. Indians are very so the Indians what they did is that when they started out, instead of doing feature films and stuff, what they did was that they actually took service work from the Disney's, the DreamWorks, who we'll do your work for you at a cheap rate. Mm. So we'll produce it for you and we'll make our money. I'm making our money like that with good, decent profit margins. I'm, not, I'm talking about profit margins of like 75% upwards. Mm. They are making their profits and they are doing the work for these guys. And then while they are doing this work, because they send them assets to be able to produce. So if you want to produce 3D animation, for example, they send you the models, the character models, the rigs and everything. And then you have to, they have to animate it with the environments and all. So with that, they began to expose themselves to the quality that, they, that the... Um, first world or the advanced world or the developed world, the Disney's and stuff. So with that, they, got, they, they understood um, the quality that they needed to deliver over time, that the international or the global animation industry demands. Mm -hmm. And then over time, they built that. And they're making money on the side. Before they knew it, they said, OK, let's put these resources together and produce our own intellectual property. And they could be able to, they could be able to bankroll it themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the model that I believe works. I'm not saying that every other model doesn't work. I'm saying work, that yeah. for me, that's what I okay, think works. We, okay, so, we actually uh, need to go. Thank you.